Hello everyone, and welcome once again to Medieval 2 Total War. Unfortunately, I realized while I was starting my um, Scotland campaign here in Stainless Steel that I was using an older version of the mod, and I, had, I wasn't aware that there was a bug fix compilation as well that comes with the latest full installment. And I was watching Isini's Total Wars video on his Scotland campaign, and I realized that there's 6.4 bug fix compilation 1.27, so I thought that's probably a, b a better update. I should probably change my version of the game. So the other Scottish campaign is void, no longer valid, it's gone bye-bye. And we're going to be starting a new one here, early era, Kingdom of Scotland once again, but this time in the proper version of Stainless Steel. And uh, our history here, it's 1100 AD. William the Conqueror may have undisputed claim over the Kingdom of England, but he must still deal with the Celtic Lords of Scotland, should he have designs on calling himself Monarch of the British Isles. In fact, Malcolm III, the ruling King of Scotland, has already made several forays into England's north since the Normans have arrived, continuing a legacy of conflict between Celtic and Continental bloodlines that has existed for over a millennium. Wonderful. So we'll do a short campaign. Expand to 25 regions. Hold provinces Judea and Granada. That's interesting. Eliminate the Almoravid Emirate. Oh, hold on. How did we get onto Portugal here? That was weird. Okay. <laughs> hold 25 regions. Hold Judea. Eliminate the Kingdom of England and the Kingdom of Norway. That sounds more like it. We're going to be doing hard, hard. If I can click things here. Uh, no battle time limit, and we don't want to see the CPU. Fantastic. Let's give it a spin. Okay, here we go with our hard campaign for Stainless Steel Scotland. And that looks fantastic. It really does. Some trade increases all over the place. That's brilliant. I do enjoy that. We are going to want to make sure that we bring Where's the fight? our forces I down we may come here, lads. to Edinburgh. It's because the English might wish to My play king. with us rather viciously, unfortunately. In God's we'll name. send our priest over I down here to keep faith. an eye on this uh, piece of water going between us and Ireland. Yes, we are going to have to invade Ireland. That will be the next thing. Let's send the spy down. Me, yeah, there's some troops in York and Nottingham. Your Honor. Let's see if we can... What is it you wish to discuss? We can get some map information. And some trade rights. It's a balanced thing. Acceptable. But only just. Okay. Until we meet it worked. So that's good. We have gotten some trade rights with England there. For the Highlands. Mm-hmm. <laughs> We're going to have to send our princess out to sea. Probably, sire. But I don't think we know. We're not able to recruit any ships yet. Aberdeen is actually quite upset. So we'll put the tax down there. They're okay. Edinburgh. We can actually bring the tax rate up. But we'll leave it at normal. Just because. <laughs> and I do like going for the uh, land clearances. First thing around. So we will go ahead and do that. So we can get dirt roads here. So I'm going to go for the dirt roads in Inverness. <clears throat> Boy, my voice is having fun with this. Recruitment. Merchant. I definitely want a merchant. Don't need any more priests at the moment. Not unless we get some mission to get it. Spear militia. Same thing. I'll go for the Highland Rabble. I do believe they are better. 
Well, they're not terrific. Attack one, charge bonus one. Attack one, charge bonus two. Yeah, the spear and militia are actually quite better. So, what happens if we recruit some of that? We're on a good track so far. Alright, so let's end the turn. A suitable prince. He's relatively healthy. Isn't that fantastic? Uh... Army supplies, 25%. Purchase supplies. Owns memorial estates, ready for action. You know what? Let's do it. Might as well. <laughs> so there we go. Our princess is now married. So that was much faster than uh, I had expected. But that's okay. What? What? Move. That's what. Gee, rude. Blessing to you, sire. Very Let's good, sire. just do that. And our money's doing okay. Priest. Recruitment. And we'll send the spear Move militia us. down there. Limit. Same thing with I the came. Highland rabble. There we go. Everyone's, I, everyone's moving in. That's fantastic. What do we got here? End of turn report. Faction announcement. Wow. Oh. Quite a few trade increases. There's all our recruiting. Marriage celebration. Celebrations erupt throughout the kingdom as news of the royal wedding makes its way to the far corners of the realm and beyond. The people are already excitedly speculating whether or not the firstborn would be a boy or a girl. Saucy. That was a nice little cut scene there. All right. That's pretty good. Our agent. Who's our merchant? Let's come and get honey. I'll not be going any further today. 50 florins. 18 florins. 9. 23. I'd say the honey is the best option there. That gives us quite a bit of cash. It's very handy. Your Highness. Very good. I'm not sure if England is You're going to actually directly sir. attack us. Moving quietly. But he is moving his forces around quite a bit. I so we will have to see there course, what exactly he does. Other than that, we're in pretty good shape so far. So let's continue moving our troops next turn, and we'll end the turn. All right, we have a mission from the Pope. He wants us to build a small chapel in Inverness. Uh, we can do that, I think. Small chapel, there it is. That's not too bad, not too demanding. Everything else is still being built. So that's okay. Merchant at your service. Let's get our merchant on the honey. Aye. There we go. Opening a new trade lane, sir. That gives us a pretty nice little additional Aye. cash value. Aye, my king. <laughs> Where's the Where's we've got all these generals. Aye. Aye, Lord. Aye. Forward. We'll go we ahead and have no a fairly today. decent force in Edinburgh, just in case. Yes, sire. I don't see any Welsh things. Yes, my king. Spy. Hmm. 
Well, I guess we found out about Otto. We don't He's collecting some stuff. At your service. Let's continue moving way. along here. Sire, no further this day. Construction. The dirt roads, yes indeed. So... An enemy to crush. What? Sir, our better general here. I he is. To crush. Okay. We're going to want to take some forces over with us <coughs> to Ireland. We'll send them with Prince Alexander. The border horse, some spear militia, say some Highlanders and Highland archers. Everything's pretty uh, evenly split here. There we go. Combining the army. I'd say that's pretty good. Command me. What? Actually, I'd like to leave. Command me. Spear militia, you're. No upkeep while garrisoned. Yeah, so I should leave them there. What? I'd like to leave Aye, the border Aye. horse cavalry Aye. there as well, just because I feel it'll be more Where's help. The fight? against any possible March. English army. March. Forming into a mighty horde, sire. A mighty horde? Gee. Make it sound so <laughs> nasty. Let's get some more Highland rabble. And then our force should be fairly competent for going after uh, Ireland. Because we can get mercenaries as well. We get some Irish kerns. Let's go ahead and do that. And they'll be pretty good for going after the uh, Irish what? rebel things. So Stop. we'll bring our forces down there. All right, land the turn again. And once again, here we are. Trade increases, construction report. There we go. Oh, huh. why are we minus on money? Projected treasury total. That's weird. I, my king. Where to? Send one of the other generals that way. I'm not quite sure why, uh. Where's the fight? We're minus money there. But that's pretty interesting, the fact we are. Okay. Well. Oh well. Aye. Let's send him Onward. down. We march no further today. Yeah, we can't, uh... Oh, wow. Our treasury total has gone down quite a bit. Let's put it. Aberdeen at a normal tax rate. How about... High tax for there. Doesn't really... Save us. Well, there we go anyway. We'll have them a normal. That seems to be fairly well. And then we'll have our commander to go into Inverness. But we're pretty close to being able to do the Irish invasion here shortly. So that'll be rather good. A successful mission. Why are we minus in money? I don't understand. Let's try very high tax rate. High tax rate. My Lord. I don't know. What? Is it the Irish Kearns? My king. I. I don't know. I just find it very weird. Moving out. I mean, we can't even get our cog. An enemy to crush. So what happens? I, Lord. I'm not quite sure what's My king. 
But it seemed like once I got the kerns, it screwed me over. And I'm not sure why. A gift from the Pope. He's given us 500 florins. Actually helping us get back our income rate here. Aye. Move out. No idea. Aye. Joining but our forces. What? I would like to have those additional troops. Me. So I think next turn we should be able to. Well, Spain and Portugal are uh, allied now. It's pretty interesting. And we'll also get a cog as well, because we need to go overseas to Ireland. Very high tax rate. Oh no, I guess for right now. Let's go back down to normal tax rate. Let's see. Well, we've gotten 349 in money. Although I'm not quite sure why we're not getting everything that we really need. And let's not get the kerns again, not till we're over there. Other than that, can't really make anything. Let's go ahead and continue. The Almoravid Emir is dead. With the death of the late Moorish ruler, his heir has succeeded to the throne. The royal houses know not whether to find fewer comfort in this knowledge. I guess we shall indeed find out. Alright, so we got a thousand. That means we're able to get... Oh, wow. Interesting. We're able to get that cog. That will take us over to Ireland. Here we go. I think now we can safely uh, disband it. There we go. Give ourselves the Irish kerns now. There's Dublin. Let's build a couple rams. And then maintain the siege. Wow. Those are actually a lot. That is a lot of troops. Oof. I think he might attack us here. So we'll save it. One second. Alright, so we've gotten some money back. Oh, the Doge of Genoa is dead. And that's like everyone's dying. A gift from the Council of a Thousand Florins. That's pretty good. Aragon and Portugal have allied themselves. Command me. Oh, we can't. We're not able to recruit any more mercenaries. Well, Where's the fight? that's very sucky. Let's continue sieging it for now. I guess we could send some reinforcements, couldn't we? I don't think the English are going to attack us right now. Just send the border horse. Some Highlanders. Aye. And some I Highland can't. archers. Set a watch. We camp here until morning. It should be all right, I think. I, my king leech. Edgar, sending our king with some reinforcements to the siege of Dublin. I don't think he's going to get there in time, but at least there'll be something to help bolster the army if we fail. All right, that's pretty good. They didn't attack us. Let's go there. Ah, oh, we can't... Why does it keep doing this to us? I'm not quite sure why that's happening, but... We're still sieging them, and we're going to continue sieging them for quite a bit. I wish we could send the troops over, but now we're not able to get that mercenary cog. So that's real sucky. 
Well, there we go. I think oh, now we should have enough for that. Oh. Why are we not able to get it? We march to glory. Try. No. I Interesting. Making camp here. Well, he has one more turn, and then I think we are going to have to have a battle here. Let's go ahead and see what else we can make. The port increases tradable goods. Logging camp. The grain exchange. Increase in tradable goods. And I think the strategic move will be to do the port. So let's go for that at this moment. Let's see how the siege goes. Yeah, as I figured. I outnumber him now only because he's taken some uh, siege casualties. But we will go ahead and attempt a bit of an attack. Okay. Will be no room for mercy today. Never. Kill them all! Well, here we are. Apparently we're right into the battle. That's interesting. That's right, they're coming out to attack us. Spear militia. Quickly. Guard mode. Highland rabble. Do get around this way. Hurry yourselves in. Hurry yourselves. You see, they're attacking us. Because this time... Let's get the archers here. Flaming ammo, absolutely. More archers. Hurry up. The Irish Kerns, they're skirmishers. Get them in front. And we've got the general. I think we should be okay like this. Impetuous. I mean, you're supposed to come down and attack me. So we'll see how he does. There we go. We got our archers firing. Don't think we actually hit too many of them there. Our archers can try and take up a better little position here. The thing is, if he charges down at us, we've brought a lot of troops just clumped in there. Is he full? Is he pulling back? I can't tell what he really wants to do. He's not being extremely aggressive, one could say. But, I mean, come on. Get yourself set up. I'd say we should use the flaming arrow. Enable guard mode. Here they come. Yeah. You guys hold here and continue firing. I don't want you doing your skirmish mode stuff. 
Stay here and continue firing. Highland Rabla. Heavy infantry. They're going to be the ones that are going to be nasty to get. What are you doing? He's actually sending his Irish skir Irish kerns. Right, let's go after them with our general's bodyguard. They're skirmishers, so they shouldn't stand much of any chance. Yeah, they're just being chopped down. There you go. Broken. Six of them left. I'd say we can safely use our general to go after skirmishers here. And his archers and stuff. After the Irish Kerns. Because, yes. They are very exposed in the rear. And they're, these archers are taking some nice shots from ours. The V archers. They're not going to really do anything fantastic against me. There we go, his archers here are broken. So let's focus on them. Highland rabble, spearmen. E. Yeah. Those archers are definitely doing a pretty good number on them there. Our men are winning the battle. If we, we continue are. like this, we will smash the enemy. Only because our general has been uh, playing in the back and By helping take saints, away some of his our archers. Men are the enemy general has no honor. He flees the field of battle. And the enemy general men. is dead. Right? Let's uh, charge our cavalry down the hill. into the rear of their infantry there. Let's get those squids knocked right out. There you go. His levy archers have returned. So we'll set them back up. No, don't do that. You guys go after his levy archers. I want all of you to just form yourselves up nicely. The enemy are badly the enemy army there we go. The After them, and the, the battle. Down. All of Christendom will Clear be victory, all of the absolutely. Victory we, we actually had some pretty close casualty numbers, but I absolutely eliminated his force. And we've got Dublin. Captured settlement. Side. I'd say we should, uh, sack the settlement to get some extra money. We must recruit a priest. I will receive 500 florins. Aberdeen. Sure. Okay, <laughs> get your priest deal. Dublin. Let's do the land clearance there. And let's retrain some troops. Let's go for the Irish Kerns. There we go. And look at that. Dublin is ours. Normal tax rate. Isn't that fantastic? I think they, there are some other settlements here in Ireland that we can go after too. We Aye, got these maybe. reinforcements. We march to glory. See, I don't see why. Where's Let me, uh... the bite? No, this is the one that can get the cog. There we Command go. Me. So we'll put the general back in there. Aye, 
And the cog will transport our reinforcements. The troops into the Taking the men ashore. Fantastic. Okay. We'll just keep him sitting in the middle there. I can't possibly too much, do too much harm. I, my liege. There we go. That's that severely bolsters our forces there. I think that's great. We can indeed get these spear militia to defend more in Edinburgh, and that's really good. I, my king. So we should send our general master. down that way. Eh, you people are fine. I don't know what you're going on about here. Logging camp. I think the grain exchange is a uh, very worthwhile investment in Aberdeen. Oh, the public gallows. Public ordered you to happiness. Eeh. We should probably go for the logging camp in terms of building something here. Come on, click it. Logging camp. Extra profits. Eh. Maybe we should hold off on that. Yeah. I guess we have building upkeep, don't we? No? Not quite sure why it, uh... Okay, let's make it anyway. Anyways, this brings us to the end of our first part for our Scotland Stainless Steel campaign redone <laughs> using the proper version and the bug fix compilation. Thank you very much for watching. If you would like to, please subscribe. It definitely helps grow the channel and get the channel name out there. If you would also like to, leave a like and a comment. And I'll see you next time. Ta-ta.